Joseph your dreams. For Joseph can speak in the language of dreaming. He'll uncover the plot and the themes. A glimpse of tomorrow and what it's revealing. Tell Joseph your dreams. I was standing on the banks of the Nile when seven of the healthiest cows I had ever seen appeared out of the water. As those cows grazed in the reeds, seven of the skinniest, sickest cows I've ever seen appeared out of the Nile too. The scrawny cows came up behind the healthy cows and devoured them, ate them whole. Seven ears of grain, the largest and most golden grain I had ever seen, grew up out of the ground. But as I was admiring the golden grain, seven ears of sun-seared dying grain grew up out of the ground and ate the healthy grain. Two dreams mean the same thing. God is telling you what he intends to do. Mm -hmm. The seven healthy cows and the seven healthy years of grain mean seven years of great abundance. The seven sick cows and seven years of dead grain mean seven years of terrible famine. What shall we do about this? My lord, you need to collect food now while it's plentiful and prepare for the seven years of famine. Yes, I see now what must be done. And you, Joseph, you will be in charge of collecting the food. Me, your highness? Yes, I believe that you are the wisest man in Egypt. Give me your finger, Joseph. This signet ring is a symbol of your new appointment as High Governor of Egypt. After me, you will be the most powerful man in all of Egypt. I am honored, sire. For seven years, Joseph traveled all over Egypt collecting food. Struck. But thanks to Joseph, Egypt was prepared. But the people of Canaan went hungry. Go to Egypt and buy food for our village. It's our only hope of survival. Benjamin will stay with me. your business in Egypt? We've come to buy food. Our people are starving. How do I know you're not spies? We're not spies. We're honest men. I swear it. 
how can we prove we're telling the truth? Do you have any other brothers? Our youngest brother stayed behind. One of you will go home and bring this youngest brother back to me. But, my lord, our father will never let him go. There must be some other way. Please, guards, escort these spies to our jail. <gasps> but we're not spies! <sighs> How long will we rot in this jail? Spend three days and not a word from the governor. We must bring Benjamin to Egypt as he asked. It's our only way out. Father won't allow it. We could be here forever. Why is this happening to us? I'll tell you why. We're being punished for what we did to Joseph. Joseph? What's Joseph got to do with this? What were you thinking to sell Joseph as a slave? We broke Father's heart and made God angry with us. Reuben's right. We went too far with Joseph. We lost our heads. If this is our fate, to rot in prison, then we brought it on ourselves. I've thought it over, and I'm willing to give you a second chance. If you bring me your youngest brother, I will let you all go free. Well, do as you wish, my lord. You. What is your name? Simeon. You stay behind. The others will go and fetch the young one. Fill their sacks with food and return their silver. Yes, my lord. Egypt. Look, someone's returned our silver. Are you sure? Yes. What has God done to us? Why has everything gone against me? Father, I will be responsible for Benjamin. If we don't bring him back to you safely, you can have my own two sons. No, I'm not taking any chances with Benjamin. I already lost Joseph. his mind, or we'll lose Simeon. <laughs> Father, we must return to Egypt with Benjamin. It's our only hope. Think of poor Simeon. And we need Egypt. It's our only source of food. This is what I want you to do. Pack our best nuts, olives, and oils, and bring them to the governor of Egypt as a gift. Here is double the silver. Return the original silver, and then pay for more grain. And don't let anything happen to Benjamin, or I will die in great sorrow. Joseph prepared a great feast. You may enter. Wait, 